This is a News 3 Now special report. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching this special report from Channel 3000. Republican leaders of the Wisconsin legislature are asking the state Supreme Court to block Governor Evers' order to extend Safer at Home until May 26th. In a statement, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald said they are asking the Supreme Court to rein in, quote, this obvious abuse of power. They asked the high court to take the case directly, a move that would skip lower courts and get a final ruling sooner. Today, the governor responded via a telephone conference. Legislative Republicans are telling those 4,000 plus, 4,600 plus people in the state of Wisconsin who have contracted COVID-19 and the families of those 242 people that have died, we don't care about you, we care about our political power. The governor maintained that DHS Secretary-designee Andrea Palm and the rest of the staff at DHS did nothing wrong. He called the move to file a lawsuit a political power grab. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin has now surpassed 4,600. State and county health officials say there are now 4,685 confirmed cases across the state and at least 243 people have died due to complications from coronavirus. Dane County has 388 confirmed cases and 20 deaths. That now includes 16 inmates in the Dane County Jail. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says all inmates are essential staff and will be tested for COVID-19 starting Friday. Vice President Mike Pence says the main reason he was in Madison today was to say thank you. After touring GE's medical plant, seeing the ventilators that helped guide doctors in COVID-19 care, and meeting GE healthcare employees who have played a critical role in increasing the amount of ventilators made, the vice president said he felt emotional getting to see the faces of those helping patients across the country. GE Healthcare and Union Machine is here and saving lives, there's no question. And uh, thanks for not waiting to be asked. Thanks for stepping up, leaning in. Yes, sir. I know earlier this month we, uh, we collaborated with the Defense Production Act with uh, GE Healthcare, the Union, Ford, with other companies. Make sure you have the supplies to continue to scale here. GE did not wait for the federal government to invoke the Defense Production Act last month. Employees said in early January, GE was already aware there would be a greater need for ventilators, so they tripled the amount of workstations on the manufacturing line and changed from a single shift to three shifts going 24-7. Vice President Pence says he spoke to Governor Evers, both feeling pride in the, and both are feeling pride in the work that GE has done. The Dane County Sheriff Sheriff says 16 more inmates have tested positive for the virus. Four inmates in the same pod tested positive over the weekend, and eventually 12 more tests came back positive. Ten of the inmates are asymptomatic. On Monday, the sheriff's office requested the National Guard to test all inmates and essential staff, and as we mentioned, those tests will begin on Friday. Unex